That's all me, baby. My belly's getting so big that I can't like sit close enough to the table because my belly just pushes on it. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to Tina Tries It. Today I've got an awesome fun gadget to test out. This is the GoPlay Cosmetics Lips Kit 2.0. It's a lip color making gadget that you can personalize to match your undertone. So I actually found them on Kickstarter a couple months back last year and I backed their project up for, I think, it was like $73 and it finally arrived. Now it's available on their website for about $94. So you can get this set now. So this is what the packaging looks like. It comes in the cylinder and you can kind of like twist, personalize the color on the front there. So let me just open it up. So inside there's a little pamphlet, little instructions. Then there's some paper filling. Ooh. So these are reusable pots that you can make your lipstick in and hold it. And then there's a little lip brush there, a little cute little lip brush that you can use to mix the colors together as well as apply it on your lips. There's five of these that come in the kit. They look like little like massages or something. <laughs> Next we have ooh, a little pouch, cool. Oh, look at that. So this is the lips kit itself. Oh, so the cartridge is already loaded. It just popped up. Do I just, do I just stick it down? Ah. So when I open it up, you can see that there's five colors there. The middle, there's this little chart. So you get a little chart with, I guess like the recipe to make the color. So there's numbers that represent how many pumps you need of each color to make the desired colors. Um, I can't do anything with these nails, guys. Now, in regards to the undertones, there's two that you can choose from, a cool undertone or a warm undertone. I went with the warm, but if you're not sure of what undertone your skin is, you can actually do a quick quiz on their website. This is what the lipstick bullet looks like. There's five colors, white, blue, yellow, red, and black. I can't remember. I've got some notes here. According to my notes, these are supposed to be matte, waterproof, long lasting, smudge proof, and highly pigmented. And it actually comes with this. These are moisture drops. So if you prefer a more hydrating finish, you can add these into the pots afterwards. So it sounds pretty cool. I really like the concept of this because they're all about sustainability. And then also because I don't remember the last time I actually finished my lipstick. You know what I mean? Sometimes I've just got a couple colors that I gravitate towards, but then if I want to change things up and do something, I don't know, like a crazy blue lip or something, it, it's kind of wasteful to go out and buy that because you're probably not going to finish it. So I think that's where this gadget comes in handy. You can mix a small amount and just use Use it as you go. If you want to mix more, you can just pump and make more. I think I should read the instructions. Oh, I've got to download the app. There's an app, guys. So on the app, you're able to access a lot more colors and choose from different palettes. So then it gives you the recipes for each one as opposed to just going off the chart. Shall we pick one? What shall we pick? Okay, so let's choose a color. Let's go in to spring and autumn and i am feeling let's do this orange shade so i need one red and four yellows for this before i pump out the colors i need to change the little um container at the bottom okay so that's just like the, the one that you have on if you're not using it. it has a little like sponge thing i guess to absorb any pigment that leaks out and i screw a clean one on there so now i'm ready to pump out the color but because it's like my first time using it it might take a couple pumps for the lipstick to come out so i'm gonna watch it hello red hello. Oh, okay, finally, one blob came out. Yes, so one drop of red came out. Now I need four drops of the yellow. Yeah. My arm is getting sore. <sighs> Warm it up a little bit. Warm you up. I feel like I'm, I feel like it's coming. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, we're back in business, guys. One, two, three, four. So you can see there is some pigment like 
on the nozzles. So you meant to put this one back. Ta-da! It's like a little spaceship. I don't know if you guys play Astroneer, but it looks like the little spacecraft in Astroneer. Any of those gamer geeks out there. So that's how much product came out. Let's mix it up with the little brush it comes with. Oh my God, my nails are longer than this brush. My nails are so long, it touches the pot. Straight off the bat, I'm not a fan of this little tiny itty bitty brush. It's just like really hard to mix. But that's the color that I've mixed. The color doesn't match exactly. I think it's pretty, pretty off actually. So I think I needed like more of that yellow to pump out. Maybe because it's new, so I didn't get like full pumps of the yellow pigment and just give it an extra pump. Oh yeah, actually when I pumped it, so much more came out. So I don't think I did like the full pumps. So let's just see if one more pump will give me a better match. Oh my God, I hate this little brush. It's like all over my nails already. It's, it's my fault guys. I've got like long claws. I'm just gonna make life easier for me. I'm just going in with a little brush. I don't think color matches exactly, but I mean, it, it is an orange. It doesn't look like a lot of Product, but I don't think you need a lot either. It's probably enough for a couple of wears or just like a day and then bring the pot to touch up throughout the day. It is pretty pigmented. Wow, look at that guys. Even though it wasn't like the exact color, it's an orange. <laughs> Feels like it's more neon orange. I actually dig it. I'm digging this color. I can feel it start to dry down just like a liquid lipstick now. My thoughts, the formula is very comfortable and it is a matte formula. When you apply it on, it's a little bit creamier and then it dries to a matte finish. It feels like a powdery matte finish. I feel like it's not gonna transfer, but we'll do like the kiss proof. Kiss proof, the kiss test. See if it's kiss proof. Oh. oh my god, that I can make it out with Alfred. And... I like that it's not drying because my lips, you guys know, I'm like the queen of chapped lips. So matte lipsticks, I need to find a really good one to be able to wear it. But look, so far, so good. But let's try out the little droplets that it comes with. So it says add one to two drops to your prepared color and mix well. You can even pat directly on top of applied lip color for a glossy look. Add to dried color in the pot to revive it. Okay, cool. So it will save your lip color if it dries out and it'll add like moisture if you want to use it as a over the top lip gloss. This is fun. I feel like I'm a little like a mad cosmetic scientist. So it just comes in a little dropper like this. One, two. So the color's looking a little bit more I guess you can see it's a bit more shiny and it's a bit more runny now. Now that I've got the hydrating formula on, when I applied it, I did notice that the color did sheer out a little bit, so it wasn't as pigmented as the first time I tried it, but it did apply a lot better. So it just glided on a lot more smoothly, though I knew it. It will transfer just like any other hydrated, moisturizing like lip product. I think comparing the two for once, I think I like the matte formula better because it didn't dry out my lips and it's more longer lasting. And if you wear a mask, it's not going to smudge and move everywhere. So I do like the fact that the original formula is already good. But on days where you feel like you've got more chapped lips, you can just add a couple drops or use this on top. So I like that flexibility too. Let me take this color off and then try out a couple other colors so you guys can see. This time I'm gonna go for a different color. So let's go for like a deeper plum shade. Pop a new container in. One pump of black, one pump of red and then one pump of the blue. So that's what came out. This time it's actually looking very, very close to the color selected on my phone. So let me just apply it as is without any additional hydrating drops in it. <laughs> oh wow, that color. It's very pigmented, guys, <laughs> it's so pigmented. I haven't even re-dipped my brush. Pretty close. I think on my lips, it looks a little bit darker. This is a very vampy lip, guys. 
a very dark plum shade. Well, at least you know if you ever need like a dark lip for a special occasion, you can just whip one up and you don't have to finish the whole lipstick bullet. Next, I'm actually going to try the moisture drop on top of this as a gloss to see how it looks. Apply directly on top. I think I like it better applied directly on top. It makes the lipstick a little bit more comfortable because it's not like that sort of like taut feeling. You know, when it dries down to a matte, it sometimes tightens around your lips. So then when you apply this on top, it just relaxes everything and adds a little bit of sheen. And obviously you can adjust the amount. I just like it better with this color. It makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, elevated. Not so like gothic. Still gothic, but a little bit of glossy gothic. So the next color, I got Zen to choose a color for me and she made like a pinky shade with two pumps of white and one pump of red. Whoa, <laughs> it's pink. This is like a Barbie pink. It's so pigmented with one swipe. Covers my whole lip. So that's the color that Zen chose. This is the color that we mixed. It's close, but it just feels a lot more like bright, more fuchsia, more like that Barbie pink. I have not worn a color like this in so long. It's a nice color though. It's a nice color. The only thing it just doesn't exactly match, you know, this swatch on your screen. And I guess it just depends on your natural lip color as well. Add that a drop, moisture drops on top and show you guys what it looks like. Wow, I'm a Barbie girl. With the gloss, it's giving me like popsicle vibes, like juicy summer vibes for some reason. I could go on and on and continue playing with these things. It's actually a lot of fun mixing your own colors. And I think it is a, a pretty cool gadget to have, especially if you're a makeup lover or if you're a makeup artist and you know, you're on a shoot and they want like a specific color. You don't have to like stock every color because you can customize it with your little um, lips kit. Also, I think it is pretty well priced considering you can make any color that you want. Do keep in mind that some of the cartridges, um, you can buy separate colors, like there's an extended version. So if you run out or if you wanna add any additional cartridges, it is available on their website. So I think it's still gonna be a lot more affordable than just buying like a one-off color that you're gonna use like for one occasion and then just leaving it there and then it'll probably expire. Also, so I feel like it is pretty hygienic because it comes out of the pump and you're not like storing a lot of the color in the jar so you can just like clean it out and reuse the jar again. The only thing that I've seen that's similar to this is the YSL like lipstick printer but I know that's super expensive. I think the cost is about like $500 ish give or take and then also the cartridges that you get with that product it's like different pinks or different reds whereas these are primary colors and you can mix them to create like a more wider range of colors. So I do feel like this is probably a better value product, though I haven't tried the YSL one just yet, but I've seen reviews on it. Now, if I was to rate this, I would give it a seven and a half out of 10, which is pretty high. But the reason being it doesn't get like a full 10 out of 10 is because like number one, when you first get it, it takes ages to pump out the colors uh, in the cartridges. Zen and I were like pumping away. And I think it's because the, the formula is a little bit more solid when you first get it so you need to warm it up and it takes like quite a long time to pump out each one so do note that but once you get it going it's pretty good I didn't like the little brush thing like I mentioned and it's hard to get a custom like exact match of the color you want but in saying that it's a system that I will use again and I do like you know that you can tweak the formula according to what your lip condition is so i think there's like lots of room for play and adjusting and if you're just like a makeup geek like me this is something you will enjoy that's it for this episode of tina tries it i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i shall speak to you guys next time bye